you know what? Screw it. The save file updated, it says that it saved right now, so I'm just gonna assume that it did, and we're gonna just pass it right away instead of, like, hibernating one more time just to cash that in. Worst case scenario, I guess I can redo that daddy long legs section. Like, it's... I got lucky, but it's not that long to do. So, let's go back to Looks to the Moon, and then we already know where one of the, uh, the other pearls are located. Which is good. So the goal for today is to do maybe like three... Oh, shit. Damn it. Maybe three more pearls or something like that. And then probably leave it there for uh, colored pearls and lore reading. Because, yeah, it would take way too much effort to read all of the lore. And if I'm just loading backups anyway, I could just read the wiki descriptions instead. It's a little pointless. All right. Hi again. Take this. You're here again. Yet another thing? Your curiosity seems boundless, little creature. Your your box seems boundless. And yet another one. I will read it to you. Interesting. This one is written by me! It's about an iterator called Silver of Straw. I don't remember when I wrote it. Do you know Silver of Straw? She's quite legendary among us. Silver of Straw is the only one to ever broadcast a sp specific signal that the big problem we're all working on has been solved. The triple affirmative. Affirmative that a solution has been found, affirmative that the solution is portable, and affirmative that a technical implementation is possible and generally applicable. She's also one of few that has ever been confirmed as exhaustively incapacitated or dead. We do not die easily. What does that mean? Like, she had the solution for everything and then something killed her off because she had the solution? Hmm. Silver of... Oh, it's Sliver. Whoops. Sliver of Straw sent this, and the ensuing commotion was historically unparalleled, before or after. I still remember it, but nothing happened, except that Sliver of Straw was apparently dead. When the dust settled, we were all still there, blinking at each other. Everyone had a theory. Some said that she did have a solution, but that the, sol that the solution itself was somehow dangerous. These later became known as the Triangulators, who think that a solution should be inferred without being directly discovered. What? Some said she never had a solution, she just died. And when the systems broke down, an erroneous signal was sent. One camp claimed that dying was the solution. Oh. Either way, after that, these different factions developed as well as a huge forensic effort to recreate and simulate Sliver of Straw's last moments. Some of the simulations were wrapped in a simulation, wrapped in a simulation, in case something dangerous might happen. Nothing much has come from it. In my essay, I make these case... might make the case that maybe she should be allowed to rest in peace now. That was interesting. Yeah. I like the ones written by you. I don't care about the ones written by Five, five Pebbles. All of his, like, garbage and random mumbo-jumbo that means almost nothing and just uses a bunch of academic words for no reason. Yeah, that one was cool. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll be back again. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna hibernate, I'm gonna passage, and we're gonna be in Sky Islands where that... That wasn't a green pearl too, was it? Maybe that was a darker green? Whatever. We're gonna be at that pearl and then make it back here again. Oh! Uh, what am I holding? Oh god, what's happening? I just wanna like... Give me the pearl. Nope. 
No, no, no. Not that. What are you doing? Just put the pearl in your mouth. Why is it not working? Oh my god, this is the worst. Okay, I'm not holding the pearl. You you need to get out. Here, take that. Okay, pearl goes in. And now we need to either just Oh no, I can't die. Oh, I actually have to survive here. That's a bit of a problem. I need to survive one cycle. Whoa! Jesus Christ! I don't know how that made sense. That wasn't like... That trick that I heard? What is happening? I'm surfing on him! What the hell? I just surfed on the blue lizard. Why are there so many blue lizards here? No! Scavenger! Oh god! That's... that's death. I'm dead now. I guess I have to, like, get bitten by one. Oh, they got distracted. Because th this is death. I can't get up from here. Nope. That was not happening. So we have to survive here because I don't have the pearl in my stomach. So I need to do this. I thought I could, like, maybe eat something. No, this guy is already eaten, it seems. Too bad I can't kill you. You would be perfect. I just need a spear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me that spear. You are not getting away. Just... There we go. I didn't want to, like, waste the spear. No, no. Grab the spear. Okay. There we go. No blue lizard. Good. Scavenger, you want this? No, you don't. Alright, good luck. And now we can hibernate again. What an awful hibernation spot. Is it this one? That's new. The outlaw. Which one is that? What did we do to deserve that? Like, kill scavengers or something? I don't remember doing that. At least not, like, enough to get a passage out of it. I don't remember. But yeah, okay. Good. And no, no, why is it picking that one? Yeah, I don't understand when it picks which spot to go to. Because, like, this is the last one I hibernated in, so why wouldn't it pick this one? All right, there we go. Sky Islands Pearl, let's go. Hello again. Dark green, another. You're no better than the scavengers, what? Oh, this one is all plain text. It's an excerpt from an iterator conversation group. Great, closed group, Sil sliver of ocean. All participants anonymous. You, you. Ha, I wouldn't necessarily disagree. NGI, sliver of straws. Straw was a traitor to the cause. NGI, sliver of straw broke the self-destruction taboo. You, you. How did this idiot get in here? Kick them out. NGI, forcefully removed from group. <laughs> okay. EP, I think they had a point. You, you. Ha, ha, really. Elaborate. It was definitely coming from an idiotic state of mind, but there is something to it. Why is it that even in a closed sliverist group, the self-destruction taboo is held so high? Well, Sliver of Straw herself evidently is not among us anymore. 
She will always be a Mogus. Wait now. I'm just saying that for all the research we're doing, all the theories we have, it's strange that we leave this path untrod. It's not a new idea, but it needs to be vented occasionally. What if there is no universal solution? What if perception is in fact existence? And when Sliver Straw sent the triple positive, it was not a mistake. What if crossing oneself out, or even just death, is the way? We need to consider the possibility. And there we go. Alright, they're pretty varied, these ones. That's, that's interesting. It's not just like the same kind of lore dump. Like the first one was just five pebbles, like, I guess, his academic reasonings about kind of unrelated stuff and then now we know more about sliver of straw and then like chat room logs yeah it's pretty interesting uh i'm gonna go hibernate one more time just because i don't remember if we've seen the last passage and i guess i'll just passage to a different area and see if we have any colored pearls in there The Hunter. Yeah, we haven't seen The Hunter either. We might have seen The Outlaw before, I don't remember, but yeah. I'm The Hunter. There we go. So, let's just teleport to like... I've checked Shoreline, I've check checked Sky Islands, let's check Farm Arrays. And like, it doesn't even matter, just go to whatever teleport point, And then we just have to... See. I have some food here. Not that it matters, we can't passage back again, so I'm just gonna uncover as much as I can and see if there's any colored pearl stored anywhere here. I guess I should have gone here, because I mean, uh, well, we need passages anyway, because we know there is a colored pearl down here, so I could just grab that one, I suppose. I'd be kind of curious to get the, like, very first outskirts one, the blue. But I don't remember where that, that one is located, if that's like right outside Shaded Citadel or something. Don't really remember. But yeah, it doesn't seem like anything is here. I do remember that like, uh, where is it? There's that massive... Massive like gauntlet that you get to. Where Where is that? You like ride a really long way, yeah here past all of this and all it takes you to is a, a red pearl. Apparently I did see on the map that that's just the end. This entire section is just so that you can get the red pearl and then get back and somehow survive that. Apparently the remix patch is gonna make uh, bunnies a little more consistent and the whole like tapping in the direction or holding in the direction to make them go the direction you want, that was just hearsay, that was like nothing, that didn't actually work. But they're making it work. They're making it so that you can like cling on like a specific part of their horns to turn them a specific way and if you have food then they listen to you more and stuff. So that seems like a really good change just to make the reindeer a lot more consistent. But yeah, so this was nothing. Alright. Now to see, yeah, 97, to see if my brother adventure actually saved. It did! Green Pearl. And we have this guy. Not that I need the green pearl now, but that's good. Because yeah, now we've done both of these, yellow and green, so I don't need either one with me. You get over here. So I guess I just uh, hibernate again. There are no more pearls to find in this area as far as I know. So we just go back in and hibernate and just teleport to a different area in search for a pearl. Which maybe should be the farmer A one, but maybe should be the outskirts one, which I think would be in the uh, industrial complex. I hope it's here. It's not here. Damn it, where the hell did I take that pearl again. Did I take it with me into Shaded Citadel? I mean, I guess we can go go through and check. That way I can, like, check 
two, two areas in one cycle. That's not bad. Yeah, Vulture Mask. Oh, there it is. God damn it. Why did I take it all the way there? Okay. I mean, I might be able to get there. Maybe I'll do some cutting if it ends up taking a while. I just want to, like, get done with these, but... Yeah, it would probably take less time to just load a backup, but... Let's see if we can run through quickly. I actually want to go this way. That's fine. No problem. No problem. What? What do you mean? Okay, I thought he like knew where I was going somehow. Holy shit! All the colors of the wind are chasing me now, I guess. There was even a chameleon, huh? I also need to eat before we can uh, hibernate, even if I do successfully survive here. Oh, that's not the way I want to go. I think he lost the trail, at least. Didn't this screen have, like, a lot of lizards as well? Damn it. That's a big old green boy. Yeah, yeah, you get in here. It's really fascinating how, like, some of them can be just bigger and have different markings and stuff like that. I, I'm assuming bigger also generally means, like, more health, but I'm not sure what the, like, correlation is. Hey, I made it. Not too bad. Oh, I already had that. Just a victory flower. And there we go. We will check out this last pearl. And then end it off. Oh, man. Now I'm, I'm kind of feeling this, like, at least checking the ones that I'm... That I've gotten. And, like, maybe the one in farm raise as well. I don't know. Losing Chieftain, because why not? I don't know if I should just end it off here with this and just jump into Hunter. Like, I, I guess if we really want to check this later, we could do it after Hunter. Everyone wants to see Hunter, so... Maybe next time we should just get started on that, and then maybe jump back in here later on and do more stuff in Survivor. If I want to, like, collect more things and uncover more of the map. Now it's there, okay. Alright. What does the very first blue pearl that you can ever get tell us? Wonder if there are any more pearls by Looks to the Moon? Or if it's just the one that was in here? I still don't know how to like swim efficiently. You you're supposed to like dive underwater and do one like pump and then go go uh, up on the surface again. Your curiosity seems boundless. It's a production record of a mask factory for what seems to be its last time in service. Have you seen a bone mask? Likely not. 
They are all gone with their owners. I mean, I, I have. I've seen the birds. In ancient times, the masks were actually about showing spiritual persuasion, covering the face as a way of way to symbolically abate the self. Then, of course, that was quite subverted as excessively ornate and lavish masks became an expression of identity. Some public persons did have problems with narrow doorways. Oh, let me see. And then the vultures stole them? Originally, monks in the temple would make the masks using bone plaster, and when the production was automated, it would generally remain on the same site, so that the old stones could radiate the material with holiness, I suppose. That is from one such facility called Side House, which was here on Pebbles Grounds. In the Iterator projects, many old industrial re religious sites like this were remodeled and incorporated. I think this one was made to provide pellets of holy ash to Pebbles, but knowing him, he probably hasn't used it much. And that was from, from the outskirts? Or wait, was this one in Industrial Complex? Oh, it was probably Industrial Complex. Shit. What was the colored pearl that was in the outskirts? Wasn't that also blue? I'm curious about the outskirts one, but yeah, that's, that's really interesting that like, I thought the lore would kind of just be unrelated to where you found a pearl, but no, each pearl comes from each area and then you get lore kind of both about like the world as a whole and the iterators and all that, but also just about the area that you found the pearl in. Like, that was the lore of Industrial Complex, what the industry was. Mask making, and I guess that's why there are so many masked vultures in that area and stuff. Yeah. Man, this is interesting, I like this. I like this way of doing lore, even though I wouldn't want to do it, like, legit without loading backups and passaging back and forth. Just traveling across the entire world every time to get a pearl to her and then go back, or maybe two or three pearls at a, at a time. That would be very taxing. But doing it this way is, is kind of fun, to just get some, like, lore tidbits. And I assume she doesn't say anything amazing when you, like, give her all of the colors of the pearls. Probably not. I don't think there's any, like, reward for this other than just the knowledge you gain. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, there we go. I might do more pearls, but I guess we'll we'll jump into Hunter next time, because it's, it's about time, right? So we'll check out Hunter. Might check out Monk a little bit beforehand, like, just a couple minutes. I just want to see, like, the capabilities of Monk. I'm not going to actually play the Monk, because, yeah, I, I have heard, like, general stuff, like, Monk is weaker and can't eat meat and stuff like that, but you can, like, tame creatures more easily and whatever else, I don't know, like, I guess there's just, like, less things that want to harm you in the same way, maybe? And then Hunter, everything wants to kill you, there's there's more stuff that spawns and things like that, but in return he's, like, hardier, faster, stronger, better in every way, pretty much. So yeah, we'll check out both. And probably play some some Hunter. I also think Hunter is like a score attack kind of thing. Like a, on, on a timer, you only have a set amount of cycles. So that sounds very weird. But we'll check it out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.